shall be an holy convocation unto you, and ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. So the the, the, the first day and the, and, and the last day, day. in the eighth day, the year that the, the, well, the eighth day, which is the last day of the, the feast of tabernacle. Right. You're not supposed to do no servile work, you know, but going back to what the brother said here in Babylon, you know, we 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 in captivity under the basically under the boot of the so-called white man. He's calling the shots. We gotta do what we gotta do to eat and survive, man. You know, we can't just be bums out here in the seat in the in the streets in the city. Like you know? allegedly are. But, but, you know, you got to work, man. Most brothers got families to take care of. You got to feed the, feed the family. So, you know, we do what we can within the law, you know. And that's why we always say, keep the laws to the best of your ability. Yep. Now, if you, if you, you know, like this falls on a Saturday, and then the white man say, you know, you want to work overtime Saturday, then say no. You know, if it ain't mandatory. But if it's a day you have to be there, be there. You don't, you know, want to lose your job being righteous over much. You know, Scripture speaks about that. that be not wise. righteous over much. Right. Yeah, I well, can't call not... in to work tomorrow night and be like, man, I can't come in. It's the Feast of Tabernacle. Right. So go ahead, that. Oh, you want me to go? All right. Yeah, that was no, it's a mo. Oh, okay, okay. It's a mo in the Leviticus. Because they're going to the boots. Right. Now, I'm sorry, yeah. Huh. yeah. Ready? All right. Verse 37. These are the feasts of, uh, of Yahweh. Ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, to offer up offerings, I mean, to offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, and a burnt offering, and a meat offering, and a sacrifice, and a drink offering, everything upon his day. Besides the Sabbaths of the Lord, and besides your gifts, and besides all your vows, and besides all your free will offerings which you give unto the Lord. Can you go through them offerings one more time for me, I? Yeah. All right. Uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> to offer up, this is in the 37th verse, to offer up offerings made by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering and a meat offering and a sacrifice and drink offerings, everything upon his day. Yeah, so just going into this word, this word is meat and drink. You know what I'm saying? So, right. right. Just dedicate your time to this word, man. Go ahead, brother. Besides the Sabbaths of the Lord and besides your gifts and besides all your vows, and besides all your free will offerings which ye give unto the Lord. Also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruits of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. On the first day shall be a Sabbath, and on the eighth day shall be a Sabbath. And ye shall take you on the first day the bowls of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and of the bowls of thick trees. So the bowls of goodly trees, man. It said uh, palm trees and uh, oh, and okay, and the willow. But you didn't get to that. you didn't get to that yet. All right. So just start for it from the top. All right. And ye shall take you on the first day the bowls of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and the bowls of thick trees, and willows of the brook. And you should rejoice before Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, your power seven days. I mean, your God, your power seven days. And you shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days in the year. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths seven days. All, all, I'm sorry. All that are Israelites born shall dwell in, in booths, that your generations may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booths 
when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh, your power, and Moses declared unto, unto the children of Israel the feast of the Lord. Right, so what, what you're supposed to do is a booth is like a tent. You're supposed to make a, basically, the scripture calls it a booth out of the, the, the palm and the willow, the boughs and branches, and make you a booth to, to dwell in for seven days. You would right. live out, outside in that booth for the whole week, you know. Now, most of Jake live in apartments, group homes, you know, projects and whatnot. They, they don't have nowhere to even get wood, let alone to set up and build build a, uh, a tent or a boot. So, you know, here in, in this society, and I want to see Nate and them, you know, keep, keep the, the, the feast of... Uh, well, they supposedly did it last year, but... Uh, I don't so know they took they off was. from work for a week. I mean, that's what I'm saying. They just had the clip up. I don't know how it went right. down, but they tried to go out in the, in the wilderness atmosphere, basically. But it ain't nothing wrong with what they did on that, trying to show forth that they was keeping the law. But then they made mockery of the name of the Most High out there. You know, and then they was out there roasting marshmallows. And, and then the Lord called it a, a, a holy convocation. No. And, and a, a, a solemn assembly. They you don't put there. that on. You don't yeah. put no, that on yeah. camera. You don't put yeah. it on yeah. internet. And then they was out there in, the, in the, like a, I mean, you know, they tried to come off with the fellowship type of uh, uh, mentality, but it was a lot of joking and, and stuff going on. Then they made exactly. mockery of the name. Because they said, oh, Nate did it. And they yeah. said, oh, we found the name of the Most High. And then, they, had, and then, and then they, they wrote it out, you know, playing games, and they didn't even, they didn't write the characters out correctly. You know? Yeah, so Nate got a lot to pay for, man. But but yeah, that's supposed to be well, yeah, uh, it's oh, yeah, bills, a whole of, in a series, a somber right, keep it serious gathering. Man. Now when the elders they they did their Passover, <laughs> but they 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 had a class before the Passover, and they filmed the class. They didn't film the actual Passover, you know. They did it one time to show brothers the example they were show to to how to keep the Passover. You know, for edification, for edification yeah. you know, for edification reasons. They, that wasn't even, that was a rehearsal for right. edification purposes. That's all it was. So, right, so that's that's, that's it. So we, we going into that, that Feast of Tabernacles this evening for, for seven days. Right, and it represents what we had to do uh, coming up out of Egypt. You know, that's the, that's that's right. the reason, and where the scriptures, I mean, it plainly tell you in the last verses in that chapter. Now, how many people just in Houston alone knows about this, you know? Let alone, you know, the the proper time when to keep it. Because, you know, the white man got this time screwed up. You got these these Edomites claiming to be Jewish. They ain't even on the right time. You know, they, they call themselves observing these high holy days. But they, they keep them in the wrong time, you know? So... And like I'm saying, the people walk around clueless. Like the elders call them meat puppets, man. You know, that's what they are, man. Under the vibration of Satan. You know, under the vibration of Satan. They having a clue of what's going on in the real world, man. Like I said, the Ebola virus, man. And the media is hyping it up, man. The alternative media, the mainstream media, they, you know, there's mention it here and now, but the the, uh, the alternative media hyping it up. And, you know, I don't know how many cases they got confirmed, but they getting ready to do something. The, the elite, they getting ready to make a move here in America, man. They steady provoking the bear, which is Russia. It's like a, a fucking man poking a, a stick at a mama grizzly with her cubs. You know, eventually that man finna get his ass towed off the frame. That's that's America. America is that man poking the bear in the in the in the eye, up his nose and shit. And the bear trying to let the man make it, trying to let him make it. But guess what? The Most High ain't gonna let the bear let the man make it, which is let America make it. The Most High gonna keep stirring it up until he get ready for him to set it off. 
And when it's time to be set off, the most I got angels to work on the minds of men to set it off. Just like they think, you know, they got these missile defenses to block the missiles. Right, that right, shit right. ain't gonna work. Hell no. They think, you know, the missiles ain't gonna ain't gonna fire. You need two people with two different keys to simultaneously arm the missiles. Right. The, the angels don't need that shit. They can just tell the missiles to fire. Like the most I can tell them to fire. And that's, that, that'll set it off. Yeah. Just, just, just imagine the most high. All you have to do is command the missiles in America to go off to right. a different place around the world. Then what you think they gonna do? Yeah. They yeah. gonna fire them off. Yeah, the most high can you know? do it like that. But then the most high too. I mean, that's that. No, I'm just that. throwing some out right. there. You but know, the most high gonna put it in their head to turn that key. He gonna put it in the minds of them, of them heathens to, to turn that key, man, and, and, and let let the missiles go. Hey, bro, can I make a little quick statement back on the on the feast? I don't want you to lose yeah. your train on uh, where you're going. But uh, going back to the Feast of Tabernacles, just to get it out there fully, it's, it's, the, it's a memorial, a celebration to we, we, we dwelled in booths in the wilderness for them 40 years before we went into the land of, uh, inherited the land of Israel. So that's basically a, a celebration to, to Commemorate that. You know, cost is not there. So go ahead, brother. That's right. So, right, we'll go back to that Colossians because we're going to finish that out and then we'll get that Amos. We might have the spirit of you. It's Colossians chapter 3, verse 3. For ye are dead, for life is hid, and your life is hid in Yahweh Shah and Yahweh. When Yahweh Shah, who is our life, shall appear, then shall he also appear, shall ye also appear with him in glory. So that's when we're going to live. And the first thing we're going to do is get our hands around the necks of our enemies. Now that's living. Mm -hmm. When you got your enemy, man, constantly oppressing you, constantly got his foot on your neck, won't let you get a, 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 a breath, just constantly on your ass, man. If it ain't this, then it's that. Like the brother saying, you get pulled over by the police, man. That's money out your pocket. Now you 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 laid on your rent, you know. Yeah, then that make you late on other bills, cause now you gotta pay pay these late fees. These motherfuckers at my job, it's been three weeks, man. I ain't been paid. Right now, I call them. They tell me, well, it's it's in the it's it's in route. It said the, the the post the post office got it. It should be there. If it's not there tomorrow, then I'm knowing and they knowing it's not gonna be there tomorrow. But if it's not there tomorrow, call us back. I said, okay, so I called back and they said, okay, well we gonna we gonna FedEx your check. Motherfucker, you could have FedExed it the day when I called you at first. I could have my shit by now. But that's oppression. Now here it is, man, I ain't got insurance on my car because I didn't get my fucking check. I can't pay my insurance. Now if I get pulled over, that's three to four hundred dollars off the bat. But that's oppression. Ain't nobody mad. I'm not the only one being oppressed. We're not the only one being oppressed. Society as a whole is being oppressed. Right. Nobody pissed the fuck off but us. The scriptures say surely oppression make it the wise man mad. So it's obvious it's a, this is a nation of fucking fools. Fucking idiots. I mean nobody pissed the fuck off man. These people man, majority of them just like me living paycheck to paycheck. Most of them ain't even making ends meet. Majority, even you white folks, man, you gotta have your income uh, supplemented. Y'all getting the food stamps now. Y'all going on housing. A lot of you, you fucking Edomites. And guess what? The Edomites mad though. They in their right frame of mind. 
but you got them Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans, man. Y'all, y'all just happy fucking slaves. Just happy to be slaves. You don't know any other way of life but to please this goddamn piece of shit, so-called white man. That's what makes you happy day to day. To go to that job, man, you, you put on your best attitude, your best face, and you go to that job, man, and bend over for this devil and let him put that rod in you, man, back back. No grease. And then when he get through, you say, thank you, sir. Now get and have a nice day. I get to buy pork for the family. Right. You people are bugged out, man. Bugged that, man. Here we are, man. We've been preaching the word right here, man. Almost seven years, man. And we see the state of America. It hasn't got better. It's gotten worse. And we are, you know, we knew this was, was, was bound to happen. But that just showed that the Lord is getting ready to do his thing, man. The Lord is getting ready to get down worldwide. And you people, man, going to be caught totally off guard. Man, to make it plain, when the brother said get down, man, execute judgment, man, he about to kill you motherfuckers, man. To make it real blunt. Let go. That's right, man. So what you had, brother? You going to... You got some more? Night, appreciate it. All right, get there right quick, would you? Well, I had the Amos 5 or 15. Okay. Yeah, this is Ephesians 4 and 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon, uh, upon your wrath. Yeah, be ye angry and sin not. But guess what? It's a sin for two-thirds of you niggas not to be angry. Y'all should, well, the scriptures say, get it, brother. Scriptures say you should be pissed the fuck off, man. 